Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw 8-bit from Brawl Stars. Let's get started with the bottom edge of the head. So I'm going to draw a straight line from left to right. Starting from the left side, I'm going to draw a straight line going across to right about there. Now let's draw on the top of the cabinet. Starting from the left, I'm going to start by going straight up. I'm just going to bend that in. Let's go to the right. Do the same thing, going straight up. And we're going to bend that in towards the left to the same height. Now we're going to close off the top. Let's connect these two points with a line going across. Now we're going to add a small detail on the top. On the left side, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we'll close off the bottom with a straight horizontal line. From the bottom corners, we're going to step in and draw two straight lines coming down. So on the left, we'll step in, draw a line coming down to right about there. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna close off the bottom from left to right. Let's add an inside edge. Stepping in, draw a straight line coming down on both sides. Let's move back to the center and draw on the eyes. Now we're gonna tuck the eyes in underneath the top of the cabinet. So leaving a small gap in the center, Starting on the left, we're going to angle up and out towards the left. Step over towards the right, angle up and out towards the right. Now we're going to draw the inside of the brow. Starting from the inside, we're just going to draw a short angle line coming down and out. And then from here, we're just going to draw a short line going out and up. And then from here, we're going to blend into two large circles for the eyes. Starting from the left, come around towards the bottom. We're going to leave a little gap on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to pull that up to right about there. Do the same thing on the right, curving in, rounding out the bottom of the eye, we'll pull that up to right about there, and we're just going to angle up and out underneath the top of the cabinet. Let's move to the center and draw on the mouth. We're going to start with a point right in the middle, we're going to angle down and out towards the left, and then the right. Let's flatten off the end, we're going to draw a short angle line coming down and in. Now I just want to trace this out just along the bottom even even space and gap. Let's draw on the bottom of the cabinet. From the corner, we're gonna curve out and then come straight down. Do the same thing on the right, curving out and then coming straight down towards the same height and then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's add two large buttons. We're gonna start at the top, draw in a circle and we'll move down towards the bottom and draw that same size circle. Now we're going to trace these out on the inside. Let's move over towards the right and draw in the coin slot. We're going to start with the top with a straight line. Come down the sides. and then we'll close off the bottom. Let's add a smaller rectangle on the inside. So we're gonna step down, draw a straight line going across the middle. We're gonna come down the sides, leaving a gap along the bottom, and then we'll close off the bottom. Then we're gonna tuck the feet in underneath the cabinet, leaving a gap in the center. Go to the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the heel. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, curve down, and then up. Now from the toes, we're gonna draw a half circle for the toe cap. So on the left, we're gonna curve up, and then down, about halfway along the bottom of the foot. Let's do the same thing on the right side. And then from the top curve of the foot, we're gonna draw a straight line going up underneath the cabinet. Let's add two circles on the inside of the foot. One on the left, and then one on the right. Now from the top of the foot, we curve across and then down in behind the circle. The same thing on the right side. Now from that same point, I'm gonna curve up and in towards the inside of the foot. Let's draw on the tongue of the shoe. From the top, we're gonna step down, draw a short line going across, and come straight down on top of the toe cap.
Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the sockets first. So starting at the top of the screen, we curve out and then back in towards the bottom of the screen. Do the same thing on the right, curving out and then in. Now back on the left side, let's draw on this arm. From the bottom of the socket, we're gonna step up, curve out and then down. Let's draw on the thumb. We step out, curve over the arm and then back out. Now we're gonna overlap the hand. Stepping up, curve down over the thumb, and then in. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the hand. Curve down, and then back up. Now let's draw on the outside of the arm. From the outside of the hand, we're gonna go straight up, and we're gonna curve this in towards the top of the socket. Now we're gonna move over to the right side. This arm is gonna be holding the gun. So we start at the top of the socket, Start with a curve, going out and then up towards the base of the thumb. From here, we're gonna angle up and in with a straight line. Now we're gonna draw on the thumb pointing up. Going up with a straight line. Come down and out towards the bottom of the thumb. Now we're gonna come in, aiming towards the wrist. From here, I'm just gonna draw the palm, curving in and then down. We're gonna wrap the fingers around the handle. So from this corner of the thumb, we're gonna continue the angle going up. Just from the same point, we're gonna angle down. Go to the top of the fingers, we'll angle down. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Now I just wanna split this in half. So we're gonna find the halfway point, angle up and out. Let's tuck the handle in behind the finger and the thumb. Starting from the base of the thumb, we're gonna angle down towards the bottom. Go about halfway along these fingers, angle down, close off the bottom with a straight line. Now the pinky finger is gonna be pointing out. So continuing this line going up, we'll go across towards the bottom, and we're gonna pull this down and in behind the handle. Now I'm gonna to move to the opposite side of the handle. We're gonna continue the arm curving down and then in behind the socket. Let's draw on the hose going in behind the body. So from this corner, I'm gonna step out, curve around, and then up and in behind the body. I just wanna trace this out on the outside. So stepping in, I'm just gonna follow that same curve, going all the way around, leaving an even space gap in behind the body. Let's add some texture. We're gonna start with a series of straight lines, even, even spacing all the way across. Now you can see as I'm going up, I'm starting to change the angle. Now let's finish drawing in the gun. So we're gonna extend the line of the thumb, going up and out, come down, and then we're gonna continue going out. Now we're gonna follow that same angle, going up towards the top of the gun. Now I just wanna pull this in behind the head with a straight angled line. And then from the top of the thumb, we're gonna draw a straight angle line going in behind the head. Let's add in the trigger finger. We extend this line going up and in behind the gun. Now we're gonna leave a gap in between the thumb and the index finger. So we draw a line coming straight down. Now the edge of the trigger, draw a straight line going up. Let's add a circle along the top. Now we draw a straight line going in behind that circle. So we're gonna start at the top, down an angle, in behind the circle, continue all the way back towards the back of the gun. Now we're gonna add a sight along the top, draw two short lines going up, and we'll close off the top of the straight line. Let's finish this off with the front of the gun. From the corners, we're gonna step down, draw a straight line going out, close off the end with a straight line. And that's how we draw 8-bit from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.